what is that sound? It's not the street triple. Look what I have here. An MC motherfucking 09. feels way better than the street triple. I'm just trying to find out where that clutch bite is. Man, it feels so freaking weird being so upright. Pop a wheelie. Oh man. Let's have an aftermarket exhaust on. I actually didn't see what it was, but it has an aftermarket exhaust. Um, and it's crackling and it's popping. I'm getting really happy. Let it get warm a bit. Oh man, holy fuck, that flicks so easy. Holy shit. So apparently this is being run in, which is good. Oh, that's the <laughs> fucking horn. Oh yeah, bro. Now nah, that's got some talk. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, I can't just, I just can't get over how comfortable this is. Uh, main road, main road. Fuck, where are we going to go? I've got like, you said 20 minutes, half an hour. Which is going to be fuck all because I'm stuck in a place that pretty much has only um, motorways. <laughs> or like slow ass 50k roads. Like Stalling. I can see how people on um, other videos get their wheel up so damn easy. What are we in? Fifth, sixth. Oh, that's got some pull. Some top gear. I gotta say, it's, I didn't actually really like the look of these bikes when I first saw them, but the more I've seen them and the more like the more mods that I've seen um, people do to this bike, I fucking I'm converting to this bike hard out eh? the bars are nice and wide oh it just feels so like comfortable the seat is real narrow obviously because it's a triple like the street triple um my little short legs i can grip the tank <laughs> pretty good um oh i just love how maneuverable it is and i haven't even gone around any freaking corners yet Light, light, light compared to the R1. Okay, I'm in top gear. It's all good. So what do we got here? Gear indicator. Fuel gauge. Fuel gauge! Oh my fucking god! It's got a motherfucking fuel gauge! Temperature gauge. It's got a clock. Uh, not really been a fan of digital techos, but... Uh, for me, this one seems alright, I guess. Got a little fuel eco light. That's a waste of time. <laughs> oh, yeah, wait, we've got Palmos. I've heard people say different things about changing the modes on this bike, like you need a clutch in or whatever, but he just said, and it's the same with the R1, I'm sure you just um, kill the throttle and you can change it. Oh, fuck yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Naughty. It actually surprised me a lot, the torque that this thing has. And even with that aftermarket exhaust on the main road, it's not 
ripping your ears to shreds it sounds it's quite I think it's got the baffle in it but it's quite a nice sound it's not like oh fuck I didn't want to come down here Yeah, it's not destroying your eardrums. My random life, 24-7. How dare you show me this bike, you son of a bitch. Ah, I'm in love. Ah, no, I'm not. <laughs> mirrors, stock mirror is actually surprisingly good. I mean, I'm obviously seeing half of my arm still, but... They're, I think they're a lot better than the um, street triple ones. The street triple ones, I think, are just a bit too fancy. They've got the uh, the little inside bit that you have to move, and it is a pain in the ass, man. They, you can never get them in the right spot. But these are a bit more old school. Just move the whole mirror. Less moving parts, it makes it a bit better. Oh fuck! It sounds wicked. Now I'm a short motherfucker. Uh, how tall did I say I am? 5 foot 9, 175 centimetres tall. I, at a stretch, if I really crush my nuts into the seat, I can get my the backs of my heels onto the ground, but I'm still just a little bit tippy-toed, which is alright. Not too bad. It's better than the R1. Yep, there goes that front wheel. I can feel it just getting light. I wasn't really giving it that much throttle to be honest, but yeah, I could feel the front um, starting to lift, so I can definitely see why this is a wheeling machine. Oh fuck, this is such a fun bike. The thing I think I'm, I like about this bike is, one, it would be an awesome commuter because it's just so light and nimble, and two, you're not going to look out of place if you put big uh, luggage bags and what have you on the back of this. Like some bikes, like the R1, if I put a big luggage rack, it just looks stupid, so you need to take it off. But with this, I reckon you can get away with it, eh? Put some panniers on the side if you want to go on holiday, and you'd look, you'd look respectable. I feel so civilised sitting upright. So civilised. Whoa. <laughs> oh fuck, just giving it that, that little bit of gas and like flying into the back of the seat, holy shit. <laughs> I don't get that with the R1, but maybe that's because um, I'm usually, yeah, obviously leaning a lot further forward, so you're already prepared for the, the onslaught of the power, but... <laughs> oh fuck me. Oh my god. I'm not going to get any twisty roads in, eh? It's going to be a shit test ride. Fuck it now. This bike's awesome. So much fun. <laughs> Just that little bit I could feel the front starting to come up. <laughs> Fucking hell. It's only on the rare occasion that I ride my R1 to the point where I get the front up. Maybe it's because I own it <laughs> and I'm a pussy. But this, holy shit. Man. Let's have a quick look. MC09 brand spanker. So apparently it's got a radiator guard, which I like. That's pretty sick, man. Oh, the fly screen makes it look way better, I think. Oh, there we go. A Yoshi pipe. Apparently 1300 bucks for that aftermarket pipe, but fuck, I think. <laughs> oh, fuck, did you see that? I think it's fully fucking worth it. That's how like, some people don't like it, but. Uh, I don't mind it too much. Oh, looks like you probably change it with an aftermarket one, maybe. I reckon it looks alright. I like this colour to start with, but then I saw the, the I think it was the older model, which is black and with the blue wheels, and I think they look better, but... I don't know, seeing it in real life, I kind of like it. I might get rid of this sticker, though, if I bought it. <laughs> if I bought it. I don't like that sticker. I'd imagine it would be a lot more comfortable for a pillion, too. I don't know, guys. What do you reckon? MC09. I reckon it's fucking beautiful. <laughs> yeah, let's take a couple of quick sneaky photos of the son of a bitch. It would have surprised me how awesome this bike was if I had just jumped straight onto it, but after <laughs> huffing and puffing, um, after watching a couple of the reviews of other people doing 
uh, reviews on this bike. <laughs> I can see what everyone's talking about. It's a fucking wicked bike. And for the price, man. For the price you pay for this thing, brand new. Fucking amazing. Actually, I want to see if we can get to... <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. Let's go. <laughs> Sorry, there's people sleeping over there. What an asshole. Alright, straight back to the shop. <laughs> that was a pretty pretty rushed sort of a test ride, but I mean it, to be honest, this is all the ride I needed. I can feel that it'd be pretty good in the corners. Just by the way it handles um just on the road man. Fuck, that Yoshi is amazing. I think Yamaha could charge a lot more for this bike, to be honest. I'm glad they don't. Fuck, this is more lunatic than the R1. I don't know what it is. That's a pretty sweet little thing. There's just something about this bike that just is a lot more lunatic than the R1. <laughs> what is it? Fuck this bike. This has opened my eyes. Like I said, I feel so much more civilized sitting upright. I could have a cup of tea and some scones whilst riding this bike. That's how civilized I feel. Should we see how it filters? Oh, so easy. So, 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 so easy. <laughs> oh, that's the thing, this bike is so freaking easy to ride, but at the same time, it's a fucking insane. I mean, <laughs> it's only 850 cc's for you. I'll see, oh, yeah, this has got more balls, obviously, than the, uh, the street triple. Uh, this is way more fun. Oh, I don't know. Obviously, I've got to test it out on um, proper roads to compare it or to give it a proper comparison. But comparison, comparison. But um, on the highway, <laughs> oh, it's just nuts. <laughs> civilized, civilized. I'm more civilized than you. Yeah, it's got just that right amount of um, torque on the road when you're in top gear just to sort of pull you out of trouble where it needs to be or just you know you don't have to kick it down if you want to pass at a relatively civilized speed but and I think that's what you need if you're commuting like you just need that that low down torque if, if something happens you just need that power to get out and fuck this has it it's freaking awesome there's nothing like there's nothing worse than when you're in the shit someone's like pulls in front of you or is about to cut you off and you can see it coming and you want to get out of there and you need to kick down like three or four gears just to get enough um juice to go so oh for fuck's sake so i'm liking this man i'm liking this this could be a good alternative oh. that phone down there sunny jim this is sick as fuck, man. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned it before, but this bike is fucking sick. <laughs> Very smooth. Very smooth. The only thing is, um, when I was in first gear before, and obviously you're going to get it regardless, but it was quite that big um, as I came off the throttle, um, after giving it a bit of herbs, there's quite a big uh, fucking lurch. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Bit of a surge. Uh, uh, someone help me out with the word. The fucking uh, <laughs> you go flying forward a bit um wasn't very smooth um wasn't very smooth but fuck it because you can't really tell shit from um riding up and down the motorway but i like to pretend i can brakes abs on these you can feel when you hit those brakes a little bit hard you can feel the front dive down because of the uh, suspension quite a bit but hey it makes it feel cool very nice very 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 nice
that's that's a big big problem for me <laughs> it is a very big problem insane better give these keys back before I never give them back getting back onto Phil Collins after riding that MC-09 I gotta say I think that bike is fucking more hooligan-y than this I don't know if I'm just imagining it because I want to like the bike more than I should but it feels like um, it's a nice fucking bike behind us And look at this beauty but anyway yeah I don't know if I'm liking the bike more than I should and I just feel like it's got a better pickup but oh, it just feels like it's just more responsive it just feels like it's it just wants to go a lot quicker <laughs> like a lot more talk uh, that's all I can say and I don't want to sound like a broken record even though all I've been saying is talk handling light and fucking awesome and civilized but fuck it's awesome it feels so fucking civilized <laughs> anyway watch the space <laughs> 